Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 had significant global effects across various industries, including the automotive sector, particularly the electric vehicle EV, segment. Although the war is not directly tied to the production of electric vehicles, its indirect impacts on the supply of raw materials, energy, semiconductors, and geopolitical shifts created considerable challenges for this growing industry. The global transition to electric vehicles, seen as a crucial solution to combat climate change and reduce reliance on fossil fuels, has been severely affected by this war. Russia and Ukraine play essential roles in the global supply chain for several critical raw materials used in the production of electric vehicles, especially key components for batteries such as nickel, palladium, and neon. The war caused significant disruptions to these supply chains, leading to shortages and increased costs. Russia is one of the world's largest producers of nickel, a metal crucial for the production of lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles. Lithium-ion batteries are the backbone of the EV industry, providing the necessary energy to power electric cars. With the economic sanctions imposed on Russia, there was a shortage of nickel in the global market, which significantly drove up the price of this metal. The increase in nickel prices led to higher production costs for batteries, directly impacting the price of electric vehicles. This created a challenge for automakers who were attempting to accelerate EV production to meet growing demand especially in markets like the United States and Europe, which are pushing to reduce carbon emissions. Another key resource produced by Russia is palladium, used in catalytic converters and semiconductors, both critical components for electric and hybrid vehicles. The shortage of palladium affected both the production of essential components for vehicle electrification and the supply of semiconductors, making EV production even more difficult. Ukraine, on the other hand, plays a crucial role in supplying neon, a gas essential for semiconductor chip manufacturing. These chips are fundamental for the operation of modern electric vehicles, which rely on advanced electronic systems to manage batteries, motors, and autonomous driving technologies. With neon production disrupted during the war, the global semiconductor crisis, which had already been ongoing due to the COVID-19 pandemic, worsened. The shortage of semiconductors limited the production of electric vehicles at several automakers, leading to delays in manufacturing and increased costs. Economic sanctions imposed on Russia over its invasion of Ukraine have forced many countries to rethink their supply chains for critical raw materials. European nations and others have begun to diversify their sources of metals such as nickel and cobalt, which are used to make batteries for electric vehicles. In addition, there has been an increase in investment in local mining and research into alternatives for critical materials, such as nickel-free batteries or more sustainable energy storage technologies. These geopolitical shifts may help stabilize the EV sector in the long term, but in the short term they have increased costs and created uncertainty for automakers. What do you think? Drop your comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.